Hi, I'm Alex Dunn, technical lead at NVIDIA Lightspeed Studios and currently developing NVIDIA RTX Remix. We built Remix to enable modders with an easy way to make their own RTX remasters of classic games. And today, I'm going to walk us through the workflow for turning RTX on in the Elder Scrolls Morrowind by Bethesda Softworks. Let's dive in. The journey starts with a powerful capture tool included in the Remix runtime. When Morrowind detects the presence of Remix, it will utilize it as its primary renderer rather than the original games. By intercepting the rendering process like this, Remix can see the game world. All I have to do now is press the capture button in-game and the Remix runtime will take a snapshot of everything around me, including the textures, geometry and lights and convert those into the Universal Scene Description Format, or USD for short. USD is an industry standard 3D file format that can easily be imported into the Remix application. This capture tool is perfect for turning a large library of DirectX 8 and 9 titles into sandboxes you can play in. Let's take my Morrowind capture and open it in the Remix application. As you can see within the Remix toolkit, I can explore the game world in the main viewport here. This is useful to inspect the game objects close up so I can start thinking about which objects might deserve some work. I can observe lighting and shadows in isolation, helping me see what lights may need work. Mesh mode can help me recognize that this candle is low resolution and needs updating. Seamlessly being able to inspect my scene, make changes and preview them without having to launch a game makes the whole process much easier. As noted with the candle, Morrowind has many low-resolution assets. Here, Remix can help with its powerful AI texture tools. With a single click, our AI texture tools can scan every asset and upres the textures by up to 4x. What's more, we can transform the original legacy materials to modern, physically-based ones. To do this, we've trained a neural network on thousands of images of game's textures to the point where the AI can look at the single color textures that make up objects in Morrowind and understand what material the object is supposed to be made of. The AI can then construct roughness and normal maps to model that material accurately. This retexturing adds additional detail to the objects and makes them react much more realistically to light. With RTX 40 series GPUs, the additional tensor cores make these AI tools run even faster. Many classic games, and Morrowind included, didn't really render the shadows cast from every light. But Remix will convert light sources to work with ray tracing, creating soft and realistic shadows from every light. This, however, can be a bit of a double-edged sword, as classic games were often built with rendering shortcuts that need to be addressed in the context of a realistic lighting model. Here, we have a light placed inside of a lantern. In the original game, the light looks great, but when we apply ray tracing, we notice that the light is fully occluded by the surrounding mesh. To fix this, we create a double-sided paper material with emissive properties to give that cool blue color and allow the light to pass through properly. As a final touch, let's create a new light that sits directly on the flame, and now we have accurate shadows even from the fixture propping the lamp up. Using Remix, you can create new lights and change their placement, color, and intensity. You can even add emissive maps and create dynamic lights by attaching them to movable meshes. But it's not complete without adding custom assets. So let's take an asset and remodel it in Maya. Because Remix is built on NVIDIA Omniverse, creators can leverage the entire Omniverse platform to reimagine any asset. That includes the Omniverse connected game development apps like Autodesk's Maya and Adobe Substance and Photoshop. When manipulating USD files in Omniverse, they're live synced, so you can modify assets and conveniently see the changes live in RTX Remix. You can even use Omniverse's live collaborative capabilities to work with another modder in a scene in real time. Remix also makes it incredibly easy to add new assets to a scene or switch assets at will. Watch as I change every instance of an asset across the whole game. With our remaster complete, we can export the full RTX mod and see it in action. The exported mod comprises of all the USD files we've changed in addition to the RTX Remix runtime. The Remix runtime will switch out the original game assets in real time, 
all while adding path traced rendering powered by RTX for beautiful graphics, DLSS3 to boost frame rates, and Reflex to improve responsiveness into the game. All we have to do is launch the game to start playing. Every RTX mod with the Remix runtime will let modders and players customize their experience during gameplay from the overlay. For example, I can globally adjust the parameterization of materials on the fly, and tweak physical volumetric fog, and just generally change the look of the game, from increasing the number of light bounces to sometimes more profound changes. I can even add post-processing effects like motion blur, bloom, and tone mapping. Remix is an incredibly powerful modding platform and it was a real joy to build. We can't wait to see what classics and ideas the community will remaster with RTX Remix.